In 2018, uh, I left a very comfortable private practice because, and I was the founding special advisor to the Secretary General of the United Nations and the head of the UN team investigating Daesh, which is ISIL, which I call the most un-Islamic state. And I lived three years in Baghdad and there were missile strikes and it was a tough assignment. And I did so for really two reasons at least, more than that. Number one, I'm a Muslim. So I feel it's more incumbent upon me to make it clear this is completely contrary to Islam. Islam is a religion whose name is peace. Every greeting, even Kenyans, or I've met so many Kenyans, you know Jambo, you know, but you also know, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So Assalamu alaikum is peace upon you. And the other person will say peace be upon you too. How can a religion whose name, whose greeting, and at the end of every prayer is salam, be a religion of hatred? So I felt I couldn't be in my comfort in my home, in one of my homes. I have to be there in Baghdad or in Mosul or in Sinja with the Yazidis who have suffered so much or with the Christians that have suffered so much or with the Shia that have suffered so much. So we see this extremism is metastasizing like a cancer into the lymphatic system. I'm also investigating the Islamic State Khorasan and Taliban. On a scale, they're also affiliates. They have the same ideology that your worth is defined by your religion. Whether you, uh, not even if you pray towards Kaaba, Qibla, but are you the right kind of Muslim? You look at the Sahel region, you look at Mali, you look at Niger, you look at uh, West Africa, how ISIS is uh, moving in West Africa. Look at Boko Haram who did the allegiance to uh, Baghdadi, the so-called caliph, the false caliph of the Islamic State, and look at Al-Shabaab, and you look at Islamic State even next door in Somalia. So we have to find common partnerships again. We need to work together, you know, with all member states of the United Nations, with all state parties of the ICC, with regional organizations, and think imaginatively. You know, Einstein said, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, and expecting a different result. Let's find new solutions, even to old problems. If we do that with sincerity, with fidelity, with partnerships, it may not be perfect, but I always say perfect very often is the enemy of the good. Let's try and be good. Let's try and be better. And to do that, we need conversations and we need to come together. Finally, Prosecutor, are you